And what does she mean by she wants better sex? Uh, so that's the beginning of a real interesting conversation. Like, what do you mean? And different people mean different things, right? But at the end of the day, I'll tell you what people generally don't mean. People want to have better sex. Now, by the way, when people say they want better sex, I say, oh, so you want to enjoy sex more. You want to enjoy sex more. So, from where I sit, as a sex therapist, when people talk about they want to make sex better, and therefore they want their genitalia to function differently, I say, well, let's talk about how you want your genitalia to function. And if you want your penis or your vulva to function in an unrealistic way, we can't fix that. I'm not going to go tinkering around with your vulva so that you can get wet with somebody that you don't trust. That's not, that's not the way the equipment is designed. So uh, some of my patients, they stick around for session number two after that. And so we, <laughs> we do a little therapy, and they generally get what they want. Sometimes uh, they get what they don't want, but then they get what they want. So that works out okay. Do you have any questions about that? This is not television, so you do get to respond. <laughs> any questions about that? We are going to have a Q&A later. Um, I get the feeling that nobody here has any questions, but if you have a friend with a question, <laughs> you will get the opportunity to ask. You will get the opportunity to answer your friend's question. Why do you think that, that we, we are so quick to label people? Like, you know, like, oh, you dysfunction. Why, why are we so quick to put a label on it? Why are we so quick to label things? Uh, to label our uh, sexual equipment or sexual... Uh, because human beings like to label everything. Like some people, you go to their houses and they have one of those little label-making machines. You know? <laughs> <laughs> toothpaste for weekends. Toothpaste for weekdays. I, I think I think if you, if you look around in our in our lives in general, we are a species of mammal. We like to categorize vaginas. <laughs> I mean, vaginas really are very nasty. Isn't that kind of the whole point. <laughs> so, but but this guy he didn't like messes, and we were talking about masturbation. He he never girlfriend. He had never had intercourse. Okay, plenty of blowjobs. Never had intercourse. Okay, kind of inexperienced. So uh, I said to him, uh, "Well, uh, tell me about when you masturbate." So the guy says, "Well, you know, I masturbate in my house, and I look at porn." I said, "Yeah." And do you use lube? No, he doesn't use lube. I think to myself, oh, please. Why would a guy masturbate without lube? But I digress. So, um, so I, now I'm thinking in the back of my mind, this is a guy who doesn't like a mess, right? So I say, so when you masturbate, what do you do with the mess? Now this is a question that hardly anybody would ever ask. I said, well, when you masturbate, what do you do with the mess? He says to me, well, true story, I says, well, I masturbate into a sock. He says, I, I, I stroke my penis, and then when I'm really close to coming, I have the sock that I use, tube sock, yeah, the sock and, I, and I come into the sock. True story. So I say, ah. Well, so that's what, what happens to the mess. So now what question would you ask? What do you do with the sock? Yes. <laughs> What do you do with the sock? He says, well, you know, I masturbate every day. Yeah, like a lot of young guys. Yeah. And after a few days, <coughs> the sock starts to get kind of icky. <laughs> well, only two or three times. What's a tube sock? It's really So I said to the guy, so... So you, you get a new sock. Okay, what do you do with the old socks? Do you throw them away or, or what? He says, well, um, I'm a very athletic guy, so I go through a lot of socks and shorts and stuff, and I throw it in with the laundry. Um, with the rest of my laundry, my mom does my laundry. Oh, my mom He says, but in weeks where it's like raining outside or for whatever the reason, I'm not doing a lot of athletics that week, um, I kind of have to like put it aside like in a drawer someplace until I have enough laundry so that uh, my mom won't catch the fact that I'm jacking up into a sock. 
So my point in telling you this story and these various stories is not to give you uh, 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 nightmares or anything. <laughs> but this is why this is why it's so important to understand the context, to understand the experience that people have during sex. I am less interested in what your vulva does than I am in how do you feel during sex. Do you feel attracted? Do you feel wanted? Do you feel guilty? Do you feel like, listen, we really got to hurry this up? If you feel like, listen, we really got to hurry this up, the chances of you climaxing go way down. 